In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a stripped screw head from plastic. As you can see here, our screw head there is fairly stripped and we've got it stuck into our piece of plastic. Now this video is mainly aimed at beginners. We'll attach another video showing you how to do this if you're a little bit more experienced with DIY. But this will show you how you can get out of trouble if you're a beginner. Now, as you're just starting out and trying to remove a screw, I wouldn't bother using an electric cordless drill. I'd revert back to the classic screwdriver. So the reason for doing this is you can control the pressure and you can control the speed of how quickly you turn the screw a lot better with a hand screwdriver. Now, the first thing you wanna do is figure out exactly what type of head you've got on your screw. It's always worth having one last attempt with a hand screwdriver before you give up on it and resort, resort to drastic measures. So we know this is a Posi 2 screw head and we've actually gone out and bought ourselves a brand new posi bit. Sometimes when you buy a new bit for this operation, you can find that your screw just comes out straight away. And if this doesn't work, we've actually got another video of how you can remove a strip screw head from plastic using some vice grips. So we'll attach that somewhere on this video in case this doesn't work. But I've got some top tips, so hopefully you can get it out quite easily. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do when you've ensured you've got the right bit is you're going to want to keep the pressure on the screw. Ideally, you want to put your hand at the top of the screwdriver. You want to kind of get your body weight onto the screw. And then you're trying to keep your screwdriver in line with the direction the screw went into your material. Now, sometimes you might not be able to see the bottom of the screw. But if you can work out which direction your screw went in, you can match it with your screwdriver. You might just have to move it left to right. So the biggest mistakes I find when people try and remove screws is they try and remove the screw with the screwdriver at an angle and not applying enough pressure. So you need your screwdriver perfectly in line with the screw. You need your body weight on the back of the screwdriver. You want to keep your other hand out the way. And just as you push down, at that moment, you put a bit of pressure on the top of the screwdriver, just give it a little twist. Now the aim here isn't to completely remove the screw and keep turning the screwdriver. It's just to turn the screw without it slipping in the screw head. So body weight on there, little twist, and you can feel it, and you didn't hear it slipping. And then once you've started to get the screw, it's often easy to get complacent and then release the pressure. Keep that constant pressure on the screwdriver. Just keep turning little turns. It's more important that this screw comes out than the length of time it takes you to remove it. So just take your time. As you can see, I'm slowly working the screw out, turning in a anti-clockwise direction until eventually you can remove that screw. So before you resort to more desperate measures, always try a fresh bit, pressure at the top of the screwdriver and keep your screwdriver in line with the direction the screw went in. Now, if that didn't work, we'll attach a video next showing you how to remove a strip screw from a piece of plastic using some vice grips. If this video has helped you and you've managed to get your screw out, please let us know in the comments. It all helps us to add to the body. <clears throat> If this video has helped you to remove a strip screw from a piece of plastic, please let us know in the comments. All the feedback's appreciated and we'll use it to try and improve our videos in the future. Thanks for watching.